So, welcome to Tech Grill. In this video, I'll show you how to compress videos for your WordPress website. So, generally, .mp4 videos can be quite taxing for your page performance. And yeah, in this video, we'll see how to optimize its size as well as its quality so that you get a good quality and lower file size. So, let's get started. All right, so this right here is the site and you can see that this is the video that I'm using. And currently without any sort of compression to the video, you can see that the page size is 26.1 megabytes and that is not ideal. If you want a fast loading site and especially your homepage, it needs to be fast loading. Well, then your page size needs to be reduced. So right now, as you can see, only two megabytes is the actual page and the rest of it, 24 megabytes, is the video, which is simply not ideal. So we're going to fix that. So first things first, to compress whatever video that you're using, you're not gonna do this within WordPress, you're gonna have to install an app. It is a free app, so yeah. Simply search for Handbrake, I'm gonna leave the link down below. So depending on whichever platform you're using, go to their downloads, and if you're using Windows, download Windows 64-bit. If you're using Mac, there's a version for Mac as well and for Linux as well. So you can download any one of these. Once you download it, you'll get an executable file. Once you run it, simply click next, install, install, and then yeah, your application will be installed. And then you can simply search for Handbrake and you can open up the app. So once you open Handbrake, this is the UI you'll be greeted with. So simply whatever video file it is that you want to compress, just drag and drop it right there. Now. This video right here, I've done one thing. The previous video was like around 24 megabytes and you can see that this video is just 10 megabytes. So this is the first phase of compression. So the first thing I did was I shortened this video by about four seconds. So currently the video is just five seconds long. So the shorter your video is, the less size it's going to occupy. So the second thing that I did was I reduced its resolution. So before it was like around 2160p, right now it's at 1080p. So yeah, that's what I did. So once you've dragged the file onto Handbrake, there are a few things that you have to do. First things first, we're gonna go into the video tab and from here you're going to change the encoder so this encoder right here h264 so this is the common encoder that's used with the mp4 format now we're going to change this encoder to something else and it's going to be vp9 so vp9 is an encoder developed by google and this is especially geared towards video streaming youtube if you use youtube i'm guessing you do i mean you're watching this video on youtube so if you right click on a video and click on stats for nerds then you can see somewhere that vp9 will be mentioned so that is the encoder of the video so yeah, vp9 encoder that's what we're using now if you're a bit of a geek now you might be asking me why am i not using the h265 format well the reason is h265 format it is the predecessor for h264 but it has less web browser support and if you're compressing videos for websites then the vp9 codec has a wider support for different browsers so that's why we're using the vp9 codec so this right here is the main piece of the puzzle change your encoder then the second thing that you have to do is pull up the video that you have that you're compressing right click it and click on properties now this is going to be very important currently it's 10.5 megabytes that's fine if you go into details here what you'll see is our video is at 1080p resolution so we're going to have to put the same values and besides this the second thing that you need to put into consideration is going to be this frame rate right here so this video is at 23.98 frames per second so we're going to go right here click on fps 29.97 this is the closest one we have so we're going to my bad 23.976 i think this is the exact one so yeah, we're gonna click on that 23.967 this is the frame rate if you put it any higher then you're simply putting too much information into the file which is going to be unnecessary so yeah very important you better do this now if you're doing something like me where you need a video for your hero section on your site then you really don't need the audio so we're gonna go into the audio tab right here and we're gonna clear this then there's also another one for subtitles which we're going to clear again and then there's something called chapters which we are going to turn off since we don't need these this is just extra information which ends up making the file size bigger so once that is done you change your encoder to vp9 and your frame rate to whatever the frame rate is that your video comes with then you can simply go right here into the quality tab and then you can reduce it down to around 50 i guess so you can play around with this slider and create multiple versions of the video and whichever one looks the best and has the least amount of size you can use that so right now this is the only thing that we're going to touch next thing that i need to check you don't really need to do this is to see so if this storage size resolution matches with the actual resolution of the video so in my case it matches it's 9020 by 1080 and if you know what you're doing and if you want to downscale or upscale your video then you can do that as well by turning off this and then typing in your scaled size but we're not going to do that so yeah there you go this is it and you can also save this as a preset if you're going to be compressing multiple different videos but yeah I'm not gonna do that. So there you go, everything is done. Oh, and there's one more thing that I almost forgot to mention. Now, when I was researching multi-pass encoding versus a single-pass encoding, it turns out, you know, multi-pass encoding is supposed to lower the file size and better the quality with the multiple pass. 
But in my case, I found out that, you know, turning this off and then just doing a single pass encoding was much better and the file size was much lower and the difference in quality was not that big. So yeah, turn this off, turn off multi-pass encoding. And once everything is done, you can simply click on browse. Then you can simply select the folder where you want the video to go to, give it a name. I'm simply going to put in compressed.mp4, save this and click on start encode so there you go now this one shouldn't take long since the video is just five seconds long and we're using a single pass encoding so yeah so now if we check right here you can see that our video which was previously around 10 megabytes has now been reduced to just 721 kilobytes and if you open it up you can see that the quality is not bad whatsoever so now we're going to use this within wordpress so let's go i'm going to drag this into the media library and then we're going to go to edit page and then we're going to replace this video open up the media library and select the video that we just compressed select it and there you go save this i'm going to refresh the page so this right here is the video i don't really see that big of a difference in the quality and now let's go ahead and let's check the pages site once again so we're going to test this from asia because that's around where i'm from and we're going to click on start test. So you can see now that the page size is just 1.7 megabyte, which was around 26 megabytes before. So yeah, so there you go. You've reduced your page size and you have a video. And I'll also let you know that the general practice is these videos are not to be loaded directly from WordPress. Generally, you upload all your videos into a hosting platform or like a video streaming platform and then from there simply get the link and then you paste that link on your wordpress site then when the site is loaded your video will be streaming from the streaming service and not from your website which in return ensures that your site has a good speed but but in this case this is just a single video which can be reduced to about a few kilobytes if you were using a few images on your site which were like one to two hundred kilobytes then this is the equivalent of using like two or three of those images so this shouldn't really be that big of a deal the general practice is if you're going to use any sort of video on your site then you need to put it into a streaming service and you might also have another question and that is why i use the mp4 version and not the webm version of the video well the thing about the webm container is that i actually tried it i researched this a fair bit and if we compare these right here so this one is the version that we just created almost 720 kilobytes and this right here is the webm version with the same settings and it ended up being 1.1 megabyte in this case mp4 turns out to be lighter but yeah you can do your testing and whichever video is low in size and loads up quickly you can use that video of course so that's about it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed that video if you did drop a like subscribe and i'll see you whenever i'll see you take care